All right, everybody, it's been a while since we've tied a fly strictly with craft store materials, so let's do that today. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Matt. Thanks for stopping by. So we have done this before, tied uh, experimental flies with just using materials that we found from craft stores like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. We've done it with a few nymphs and maybe a wet fly. We have not yet done it with a streamer. So I want to tackle that today. And I'm going to start with this craft fur, some white and black craft fur. Um, I think I got this one from Michael's. Pretty cool stuff, makes some great you know, streamer wings. And then I'm going to use a little bit of this crazy colored marabou right here. Um, and then some standard yarn, just uh, yarn. You could use any color you want. You could use any color you want for this stuff. So this one, it's a pretty standard looking streamer. You might call it a three way. It's got a, a tail and a body and a wing. That's really about it. And then a throat, but you know, that could certainly be optional. So what I like to do with these things, this is a, a no name streamer. I just came up with it, you know, an hour ago. It's just a, a craft fur streamer. Let's run a little name the fly contest. If you've done this before, it's pretty fun to participate. Just leave a comment with whatever you think we should call this fly. And this video is going to be published uh, Thursday, July 22nd, 2021. How about Friday night? I'll pick a winner. We'll announce it in a pinned comment. And then I'll send you a $25 gift certificate to Jay Stockard. So that's just making it a little bit more fun. Maybe encourage some people to make a few extra clicks and submit what you think we should call it. Now, this is a, a really simple pattern, but what you learn by doing something like this is that you can take cheap materials and, you know, not many materials and make fishable flies with it. Just sit down on the bench and experiment. Experiment with colors and wing types and body types. That's what tying is all about. That's what makes it so fun. You know, tie something that has never been tied before. Take it out in the river and see if it works for you. So you're not going to learn a lot of new tactics by watching me tie a fly like this, but what you will learn is that it's okay to experiment, to just sit down and have fun. So that's it. I think it's a pretty cool looking pattern, and I know this thing's going to catch fish. So I hope you'd like it too. Let's give it a shot. So there you go. In the vise, a generic craft fur streamer. I'm tying this on a size 6. Now this is a streamer hook, but it's only a 2x long, so it just looks like a big wet fly hook kind of. But it's a streamer hook. And I am going to weight this. That craft fur is not the densest of material, and it does have a little bit of buoyancy. So I'm going to put uh, a good bit of O2O weight on it. And I'm going to use black thread. I'll put a dam behind the weight, take it up over it, put another dam front, then take it back to the bend of the hook. Now the tail on this guy, it's going to be a small tuft of this white craft fur right here. Um, pretty long, but not real thick. And what you might need to do, this craft fur, they, they create it almost like real fur. Um, it's got some under fur in it, so you'll probably want to brush some of that under fur out or just pull it out at the least. Uh, we're going to cut most of that off, but get a good length of it right there. And we'll just catch it in right back here. We'll use a little bit of this to help even the, the gap between the hook and where that weight is. We also have some yarn that can do that as well, but this will help. It's a little bit, you can definitely tell this stuff is synthetic. It just has a, a plastic feel to it, but it does look pretty good in the water. Okay, so next we're gonna tie in um, a body material, and this is a, a yarn. This is two strands of a four strand yarn. I did one a minute ago, or the one you just saw in there. I used the full piece of yarn, and I think that body was just a little bit too fat. So I split it. I'm only, only gonna use half of it for this one right here. Let's just try to catch this in right there. Take our thread up. And with two strands, you can still treat this kind of like a thread. You can spin it one way to kind of cord it up. See that? Or spin it this way to flatten it out. So whatever you need to do to get a smooth body. Halfway up, you might need to tighten it up. Uh, it depends on, you know, how much of it has unraveled on you. But it's not that vital, I think. Just get a as good looking a body as you can. Take it on up to the front and tie it off. Now 
Okay, a few extra wraps right here. And here's another thing. I don't think this is mandatory or option or, or necessary at all, but I think it does look kind of cool. I'm gonna put a little tuft of a beard on it. And I did one with red. I think red looked pretty cool. I also did one with yellow. And I think yellow looks kind of cool with this brown body. So if you used a different color yarn body, yeah, mix it up. Get something that's gonna look cool for a beard. And I think this yellow looks good with this brown, so I'm gonna just catch a small piece of this marabou in right here. Okay, that's gonna be fine. Got a lot of fluff up front to snip off. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we can probably take a few extra wraps just to bury that in, try to keep this smooth right here. All right. Okay, I think that's gonna be fine. Now, before we go to our full white wing, I wanna tie in just a, a small uh, clump of black craft fur. All right, a little piece about like this right here. You're probably gonna to have to do the same thing with it. Look at that, there's a lot of under fur in there, so pull some of that out. And you definitely wanna do it up front or else you run the risk of your head getting too big on you. You got a big, ugly monster head which I've made plenty of those in my day. And I think we got it thin enough. Okay, and I'm gonna lay it down there really long, back to the back of that tail even. And this is pretty thin. We're gonna cover it with a big, thicker clump of white craft fur in just a second. But I think with this black, it's gonna give us that lateral line. Kind of one of the things that make, you know, the black nose dace as effective a pattern as it is. Or a lot of the hair wing streamers that use a, what's it, a furnace that has that black line down the middle of the, the feather. I think those streamers are just really effective. I think that black line does a lot to make a, a fly, you know, more effective. And this synthetic is a little bit hard to trim. Got a little fuzz right there, but nothing. A few extra thread wraps can't lock down for us. Okay, now let's get our thread in the back and take another piece, this time more white craft fur, probably a little bit thicker of a piece than we just put on with that black. Okay, I think that's gonna work right there. Let's see if we can get this cleaned up a little bit. Got, got a lot of under fur here. I need to brush out. See, I'm getting that out right there. Again, this will just make the head a little bit easier. So if you try to tie this stuff in, or think of it as bucktail when you're tying it in, it's a little bit harder, I think, to tie in than bucktail is. But, you know, we're tying stuff from a, a craft store. You're not gonna find a bucktail at a craft store. And this stuff does have its use. This craft fur does have a, you know, a specific use in, in some flies. So I'm putting a few tight wraps down right there. Try not to mangle up my throat. But there we go. Now we got a, a lot of this up front to, to cut. And I probably can't do it in one trim, so I'm gonna just have to get in here and, and do a, a few snips at a time. But the smaller you get this, the, the smaller and cleaner you'll be able to make your head. So just spend a little, bit of extra time right here trying to get this cleaned up. And it's a streamer, so there's no harm in having a big head on it. In fact, you might want to keep the head pretty big, certainly if you were gonna paint some eyes on it. But I think we're fine right there. Let's see if we can clean this head up. Okay, that's a little bit of a fuzzy head. I nicked my thread right there, and you can see some of the fibers coming off. And I don't know if I mentioned this is a 70 denier thread. A streamer like this, I would have probably been smarter to use a 140, but I've always got 70 denier in my spool, so I use that more often than not. But you saw it took me a little bit longer to build this head than, say, if I was using a th thicker thread. But it's gonna be fine. Drop a head cement, we'll get that nice hard gloss on it. And there you go. Maybe a little bit of cleanup if you don't like those fuzzy fibers right there. It's not gonna impact how it fishes in the slightest. 
but you know to the fly tire we kind of like it to be neat sometimes but there you go just a, a no name craft fur streamer i think it's going to be a pretty effective pattern i can't wait to get out there and give it a shot so i appreciate you watching everybody y'all take care and we'll see you next time